And this is where we find ourselves with Elon Musk about to buy Twitter. Yeah, I saw that. Apparently, it's it going did. down. It happened. It happened. Oh, it ha- shit! What? Oh, shit! The press release has been announced. <gasps> Elon Musk just bought Twitter. We got a movie star cut type of a superhero. It's like a movie. Like if you had a movie and there was a guy who was like a like a hero in the movie who happened to be a billionaire, does wild shit, like makes his own rockets and drills under the city and That's electric cars and then buys Twitter. That's fucking insane. Elon Musk agrees to buy Twitter oh. in a $44 billion deal. Agreement to take social media network private marks the close of dramatic courtship. Here's why that's going to be interesting. Yeah, tell me. I need all, to hear what you think. He I, believes that free speech is important and not just important vital for a democracy for a a functioning democracy and i agree with that and what's interesting about this is we're gonna look we found out some things about twitter and one of the things they do is shadow ban people so they make it so that your your content whatever you put out has less impact it has it has less engagement they limit your ability to express yourself they they ban accounts and they ban accounts if the account says something that they don't agree with. If the account says something that violates what they believe mm-hmm. is uh, a, a rule, like a do you know like you can't dead name someone, right? You know like Bruce Jenner was Bruce Jenner his whole life, mm-hmm. and then he became uh, Caitlyn Jenner. And if you call Caitlyn by that other name, you're dead naming her. And they'll oh, ban you. They'll okay. ban you I for didn't know life. That. They'll ban you for life. So wow. me even saying his name as a name, there's nothing wrong with that name. Mm-hmm. It's it's who he, how he won the Olympics. That was the name of the guy on the Wheaties box, mm-hmm. right? That was the name. Yeah. But by me saying that name, I never that, knew that. name. I have people write articles when I do it. They're like, oh, he's dead naming her. Like this is you're talking like you're in a cult, okay? I'm saying a fucking name, and it was a name that someone used for a long time. It's not meant in any way, shape, or form to be disrespectful. Wow, that will get you banned for life from Twitter. That's crazy ideological shit. Yeah, that's that's what that, that is. That is nuts. That's cult shit. Nuts. So obviously, Joe is pretty happy about Elon's acquisition. He believes it's going to bring more free speech, and that's great. You know, I don't really have that much of an opinion on it. I kind of like Elon overall. You know, uh, so I'm for it. As far as like the shadow banning and all this stuff, I think people are kind of like getting a little bit paranoid with what he means by free speech. And it's just taking it by extremes. Also, Joe mentions like this shadow banning and stuff. And there is, you know, like shadow banning to some extent. But it's very rare. Overall, most people are just paranoid because the way social media works, right? When you only have a few followers, you get to see everybody's content. The more people you follow and the larger the social media, you know, gets, the algorithm has to selectively show you what it deems among that content that you will feel most engaged in. So it's very tricky. Um, You can perceive it that, oh, my content's not reaching as many people as it was last week. And it's probably true, but it's based on like how people interact with your content a lot of like Facebook Twitter they really don't care you know like they want you to engage with the content that you like and so it's pretty impartial I remember a few years ago quite a few years ago there was that lady who went into YouTube and shot up YouTube I don't think she even killed anybody except herself she injured a few people I think and it was all because her channel used to do really well and then she felt like it wasn't reaching as many people she got shadow banned in her mind but really she didn't but i've had this happen with accounts you know one minute you're doing great then you're not doing good and you feel stuck so it's not always because you're being shadow banned hell if you were shadow banned it would mean that you would like dead in the water nobody's seeing your stuff and you're just you keep posting nobody sees it at all which tends to be a little bit more rare you know so i don't know again like i said um, what's Elon going to do? Is he going to let, what we really want to know is Elon going to let like Donald Trump, Alex Jones, these people back on the platform. You know, I read an article where the EU was warning Elon Musk that if he becomes too free with his speech, they might ban it over there. And I'm like, hey, babe, come on. You, is Reddit banned? Is There's way more uh, fringe, you know, places, right? So even if they let back, you know, Donald 
or Alex Jones, it still wouldn't be that bad. I don't know, I got something in my eye. Anyway, we'll see. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I don't think it's going to change much at all. I don't really know why he got it in his head to buy Twitter. It would be funny if it started with that kid because he had that app sending out tracking his jet. And so Elon said, hey, I'll give you five grand if you take it down. He said no. So Elon just decided. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny, but it starts with a little seed, right? And something small can put the seed of an idea in your head and that seed can keep sprouting into something that then it's just like, oh shit, this is happening. And it could have started with the just most simplest idea or suggestion. So I don't know. What do you guys think about uh, Elon? What is he really going to do with Twitter? Do you think he can turn things around on the platform? I think if anybody is going to be able to actually make it profitable and monetize it, it's Elon. So we'll see what it goes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, bye, Red, so green.